welcome back to another video with your girl, showing the one. Okay, guys, so it's hair update time, and I know you guys have been inquiring and asking me on Instagram and all this stuff, and all these videos I've, and pictures I've been posting, what is going on with your hair. I would love to be able to tell you that this is my hair, but it's not. Anyway, but I've been loving this hair. I've been wearing this hair for the last few months. It might be even like two months now. And anything that I can do in my own natural hair, I've been doing to this hair. This is this hair's natural texture. This is just a wash and go. Honestly, I just co-washed it, um, applied a few products to it, and left it alone. And I got this result, and it's gorge, yes. But um, I'll tell you at the end more about this hair and the products that I'm using in it. So let me start off with just say, happy winter natural hair time. I don't know what it's like where you are from, but from where I am in Philadelphia, it is really, 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 really cold, which is like the worst time for your hair because we all know that the colder it is, the drier your skin is, your hair and all that different stuff. And it is like really, really difficult to keep your hair nice and moisturized around this time. I particularly choose to go about it with just using 100% protective styles. My hair has been thriving, it is healthy, it's long, it's getting even longer every day. I am taking my hair affinity pills pretty much when I can remember, which is pretty much like every other day because I don't remember every day. And not only that, but I keep my number one problem away from my hair and that are these, my hands. If I keep my hands out of my hair, it it reduces breakage dramatically i'm not doing a bunch of stuff to my hair i'm leaving it alone i am not touching my hair i take the uh, the advice of tracy simmons from here on youtube and i keep it simple sister and that's exactly what i do i keep it very simple i don't i mean my product collection do you for those who's been with me for a long time now Y'all remember my product um, collection? I used to have so much hair products that it was just team too much. Those may be so, those, I cannot speak today. Those may be beneficial to some people, but for me, it was just team too much. It really was. So I keep it very, very, very simple. Underneath this, um, I have about five or six big braids that's it, you know, I have big hair, so I'm not looking for my braids to be small to where, you know, they could be flat and flatter down to my head. It's not that serious. I think I've had like one, two, three, yeah, about six. And um, that's what I do. So let me tell you what products I am using and pretty much what, how my routine is, which is pretty much the same that I've always done. So you guys know I deep condition on dry hair and I deep condition anywhere between once to twice, no, once a week or once every two weeks. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I can get real lazy, but I try to at least be conscious of it. So every one to two weeks, I definitely start off with a deep conditioner. And right now I'm in between deep conditioners because I use the rest of it, but I'm using pretty much anything from Shea Moistures right now. I haven't like falling in love with anything yet like to where i'm just like i'm not doing anything else shea moistures have come out with some really good hair masks that i've been going in between so that's pretty much what i'm doing and then after i do that i go into my shampoo now i'm either doing one or two things i'm clarifying or just doing a co-wash and i usually only clarify about once a month but when i do that i am using still the Shea Moisture's Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength Grow and Restore Shampoo with the Apple Cider Vinegar and Shea Moisture, the Shea Butter. I really, really like this because I feel like I'm soaking the moisture that I need even though my hair is being clarified. You know, I know it's being, it has pH balance in here. I know that my hair is where it's being well taken care of when I use this. So I've been really, really enjoying this. I've been using this in my hair, as well as Kennedy's hair, only when I'm clarifying. I mean, I'm only using this when I feel like I have buildup, I have, like, you know, that once a month, I need to strip my hair and then do it again. So that's what I'm using this one for. Other than that, I am co-washing, and what I'm co-washing with 
is pretty much the same thing I've always co-washed with. I co-washed my hair with this, Kennedy's hair with this, as well as this doll here. And that is my Pantene um, co-wash cleansing conditioner. Guys, you know how much I love this. I will always love this. I, I cannot rave enough about this product. I feel like it detangles my hair. It has my curls popping. My hair feels moisturized. It's just the perfect replenisher love her love her did i tell you i love you did you ever know okay i'm not gonna sing to you today but you know how I me mean. you go all right so i'm either doing that and then kennedy's hair every once in a while i will use the co um coco amo shampoo i really do like this in her hair it really leaves her hair with a nice slip from shampoo that's so weird but it does it so i really like this for her hair Okay, so after I shampoo and or co-wash, I apply my leave-in. And right now, my favorite leave-in for my hair is the Giovanni Direct Leave-In Weightless Moisture. I've been using this for years now. Still really love it. And what I love about it even more right now for the winter time, being that I'm choosing to pretty much 100% protective style. And that is because I'm getting the moisture that I need as well as the protein that I need. So I know that my hair is being moisturized as well as being as strong as it needs to be for the tugging and for the braiding process. And it's gonna be tucked away so I don't have time to basically get protein to it throughout the week. I know that it's being well protected by using this product. I love it, it's nice and thick. So when I do apply it, I try to put this on dripping wet hair or at least damp hair. So this way I can make sure that you know, I make it's really, really nice and juicy when I put my braids in and I tuck it away for the week. So I really, really like that. To seal that, I am using my um, sunflower and extra virgin olive oil. Oil. I got this from Shoprite, and I thought that this probably would have been more 50% of both, but actually, it's not. It's um. 80% sunflower oil and 20% extra virgin olive oil. And those who've been with me for a long time, lipstick on your teeth. <laughs> lipstick on your teeth. You know, I can bust out into a song about pretty much anything. Okay, so I've been really, really enjoying this. I feel like my hair is really nice. There's times in the morning, I would just put this on Kennedy's hair and send her right out the door. So I've been really, really enjoying her. So, to moisturize my hair, I've been using one or two things. Pretty much more one thing, but I'm going to show you the other thing too. So, for every once in a while when I'm doing my braiding, even after this, because usually what I do is I just put this in and seal it and then start braiding. But every once in a while, I will reach for this. And this is by the Shave Moisture's Coconut Hibis Hibiscus Kids Curling Cream. This... I really, really like. It's a really good moisturizer. And I've been using this in my hair as well as Kennedy's hair. And um, I use this as a moisturizer. It really adds a, a lot of nice moisture to your hair. Like I said, I don't use this on a consistent basis because I really do feel like I get what I need by just using this. But every once in a while I would use this as well as in Kennedy's hair. So, yeah. But that's usually before I apply my braids. Once my braids are in, I'm pretty much solely using this to moisturize my hair. It's an oldie, but always been a goodie. And that is the S Curl. Yes, I am still using this. I love this because it allows me to spray, spray, spray. And you can literally feel it just absorb into your hair. Your hair can be hard and brittle. When you put this on, you can feel how soft your hair becomes. I love this stuff. This is great. I also use this in Kennedy's hair in the morning instead of using uh, like water to like really get her hair a little bit more manageable. I've been using this and this goes a long way. And the sprout, it like sprays out a lot. So I could go in with her hair and like spray this like three times and her hair has a nice amount of moisture to it to where it's now manageable for me to brush it or do whatever I'm gonna do to it. So this is what I do. Before I go to bed at night, I'll spray, 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 put my scarf on and I'm good to go. I'll um, pour a little bit of the oil in my hands, you know, and just, you know, pat my braids, make sure the ends are good, and that's it. So that's pretty much what my winter time 
hair regimen has been. I'm keeping it very simple. I try to make sure I take my vitamins. I, I definitely try to wrap my hair pretty much every night. And I'm still doing my weekly, if not bi-weekly routine. I keep it very, very, very simple. And I have been getting really positive results from that. To detangle, I just want to throw this one, no, these two products in. To detangle, I found this product in CVS. I, it caught my eye because I'm always looking out for stuff, you know. Once a product junkie, always a product junkie. But I'm trying to, you know, I've been really, really good. But I found this for Kennedy, but I used it for my hair as well, and I've been in love with it. And that's the Curly Kids Mixed Hair Hair Care Super Detangling Spray. Good to gosh. Ooh, I did not know. I did not know. I did not know. I really like this stuff. This is unlike anything I've ever tried. I mean, it just detangles my hair and Kennedy's hair in a way that I'm not quite accustomed to. It, it's not like it has anything in here that's like crazy it just glides through your hair and that's exactly what it does i mean like and it's cheap this whole hair care line if you go to see i found this in cvs i think i saw it in walgreens too but i found this in cvs no more than four dollars each product is like four dollars 379 something like that so like this and for my edges every once in a while even though i call myself putting it on it today um every once in a while when i do do something with my edges I do still like the um, Natural Honey and Shea Edge Tamer by Design Essentials. This is the one that I think is better than all the other ones. And I'm not going to say like this is 100%, but this is the best one out of the ones that I have. And I pretty much, to my knowledge, have next to all of them or I've at least tried a, per, a large amount of them. And this is the best one that I have come into contact with. And this is by Design Essentials like that one. Other than that, guys, that's it. As far as products that the only two products I use in this hair is by Fruit Trees. You guys know that I co-wash with this. This is the only co-wash that I use in this hair. Live for it, love it, die without it. Love this stuff. And when I'm letting it just air dry like I let this air dry, I use the fruit Garnier Fruit Trees Sleek and Shine um, oil, oil treatment for dry, frizzy, unmanageable hair. The crazy thing about this is that it instantly absorbs for concentrate, concentrated, Jesus Christ, concentrated conditioning without oiliness. This stuff is the bomb.com shickety doogity boom boom. Oh my gosh. I mean, it like, I can put this on and just let it air dry. And like right now my hair, this hair is so ridiculously soft and manageable and the curls are popping. They doing a little thing. And it's because of this. And I also use the Gagne Fruit Tree style curl scrunch gel, curl defining gel. I really like this in it as well. I only really use this when I'm going to do a wash and go, something like this. Cause I wanted you guys to see this hair in its most natural state. Like this is it, this is the natural state of this hair. But when I use this, I'm only doing something like this. But guys, that's it. Um, as far as tips, what I would say is once again, keep it simple. My strong recommendation would be protective styles, but if that's just not your zhuzh and that's not what you wanna do, what I will say is I would probably look into your moisturizer, make sure that your moisturizer contains some form of protein, not too much because everybody's protein levels are different. I'll do another video if you would like to about really understanding protein and not using protein in your hair and things like that, but really concentrate on the moisturizer. Make sure it is super moisturizing to be able to handle, think about it, you're putting hats on your head, you're putting scarves in your hair, you're putting sweaters over your head, you know, it's so much going on to keep your top half of your body warm that you have to think about the, the, the damage and not damage, but the, the vigorous that your hair is going through. So make sure that your moisturizer is a really good defense mechanism to hold and to protect your hair from that. So usually in the summertime, if you have like, if you have thin hair, do you want to use a lighter moisturizer right now might be the time to go a little bit thicker and find a, a little bit like a more of a cream moisturizer depending on 
what type of hairstyles you you are having that's another thing you might have to accept the fact that you can't have the same hairstyles that we usually would have during the summertime because right now your head is pretty much going to be covered most of the time to get in and out of the office or something like that so I, it's just about making sure you find protective styles that are cute but at the same time doing what it needs to, to do and if you're got twist outs and, and being too night outs, those are fine. Not saying that you shouldn't wear them if you choose to, but just be conscious of making sure that you keep your hair really, 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 really moisturized to where it can do its job and protect your hair from the elements. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you already know what to do. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else to say, but I love you guys so much i miss you guys i want to thank you guys for riding with me all this time the channel is continually growing and that is because of your diligence and your just riding with me i really really appreciate it i'm gonna leave you with this note and that is guys please find a way to not consider your own self today Find a way to be a blessing in someone's life. Do something for someone that is so out of the no out of the norm that you even shock yourself. You know, a few days ago, I helped these two young ladies out and this baby, and this baby is like in my mind. I can't get this baby out of my mind, and I wish that there was more that I could do. If you would like to know more about this this story, I'll do a whole nother video on it. Leave it in the comments section or just thumbs up this video to let me know. But I just I know that we're all here to be a blessing to someone else and you have to be able to take care of yourself to be able to be a blessing to someone else so just keep that stuff in mind as you move through your day you know be a blessing say something nice to someone else and more importantly say something nice to yourself because you are a beautiful dream love you guys so much and I'll see you in the very next video Mwah.